na vipimo vya hapa karibu kwamba watu waka wakapime kama hizi ile nani bado Florence nafanya kazi au imeisha hilo ndio tatizo tulionalo kubwa kwenye mambo ya nani hii ya Florence kwenye hii mitambo the overall objective of the project is to contribute to the development of sustainable water management system in area affected by fluoride contamination in water soil and food uh, with the aim of improving the living uh, standards of local population. project will be helpful for the future. The Sahara and Sahel Observatory organized regional workshops and exchange of experience in the field. The first one was organized in Arusha, Tanzania, the second one was organized in Nakuru, Kenya, and the third one was organized in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I'm on the side of uh, crop production and looking at how fluoride affects uh, crops and we, because it's a new area people have been doing research on fluoride in water but so much fluoride on crops there isn't much information available so we are trying to get a bit of information especially for this area to see does fluoride much as, uh, much as it's in water does it also get into food and if it gets into food, do people consume? During the uh, past uh, three years, the team of Flower Project have reached uh, different interesting, important and innovative results in terms of new knowledge, original data, uh, solution and technologies to contribute to the development of sustainable water management system in areas affected by fluoride contamination. And we are involved specifically in several activities and specifically about the use of isotope for several aspects, uh, mainly to analyze the, uh, so to reconstruct the flow path and the groundwater circulation in that areas, but not only. We are involved also and in use some hydrochemical uh, indicator and isotope tools to um, also analyze the um, relationship uh, about fluoride and groundwater and so try to trace the, um, the fluoride contamination path. Today, uh, through the flower project, the main outcome are linked to uh, a better knowledge uh, of the hydrogeological assessment of the three study areas and an advanced uh, uh, and successful methodologies approach was developed and applied. 
uh, we tested and uh, uh, we tested new innovative mitigation option for uh, fluoride contamination in agriculture through uh, trials in uh, greenhouse, in lab, and in the field. Uh, we developed uh, and tested in lab and in the field um, low-cost uh, defluoridation technologies uh, for the purification of uh, drinking water. I'm glad to present you the defluoridator prototype developed during the technology transfer phase of the WP3.4 of the Flower project. This device was designed to optimize the performance of the reagents selected and developed during the research phase. This device is a lab model, can and can work with electricity, provided by a small, a small solar panel or manually. Other two prototypes are under construction for ground tests. Each device can treat 50 liters of water in two hours and can treat water contaminated with up to 30 milligrams of fluoride per liter, with an overall cost lower than 5 euro cents per liter. We are testing the prot fluoride prototype. This defluoridator is composed by a tank and a mixed pump. These are the two main components of this method. Now we are using a natural water with the initial concentration, with the initial fluoride con concentration about 20-22. 20, After putting the water into the tank, it's necessary to put the OCP, the reagent, now we are working with, with uh, 4 grams per liter, is the maximum amount in order to have a uh, speed, uh, higher speed rate for the fluoridation. After 2 hours and a half, this is the value the, uh, of the concentration of fluoride. As you can see, it's uh, below 0.5 and uh, the weight show the limit for fluoride is 1.5. So we are 3 times less than the drinkable limit. Uh, we are producing a new device and uh, we would like to know about uh, the market for a new technology and so we will calculate cost and benefit, social, social and uh, private uh, uh, cost and benefit related to this uh, new uh, device. We know that uh, this uh, water is uh, uh, contaminated with fluoride and we would like to know about uh, the habit in consumption in related to the consumption of such type of water in the free countries and uh, we have done uh, um, different interviews in, the, in Kenya and Tanzania the different people coming from different uh, uh, Maasai, uh, Bantu, Meru population We are developing task 5.1, which is, in few words, dedicated to to analyze the future. To, uh, we are to analyze the future implementation of the flower technology, to see whether we're going to have difficulties, which things will work, etc. To do that, what we we're using are two very common and traditional market analysis tools, which are the SWOT, the PESTEL, sorry, and the SWOT analysis and that combinedly we can s assess the context in which the technology will be implemented from a nationwide point of view. Na kuataka wataalamu kuongeza juhudi ya kumaliza tatizo hilo kwa kutumia mali gasi zinazopatikana kiraisi we dedicate uh, a strong effort for the dissemination and exploitation of the results communication activities and capacity building actions and uh, um, the researchers of the of the team participate to different international uh, scientific congress and we submitted a scientific paper to international peer-reviewed journals. 
uh, in all these activities, uh, we, um, uh, there was a in, uh, strong involvement of uh, the local stakeholders. Uh, for sure, uh, one of the strengths of the, of the project is positively given uh, by the great work done uh, by the uh, researcher of the uh, Flower Consortium. Researchers involved in the project also presented posters and oral communications during scientific events. We produced communication tools such as websites, including GeoShare network and database, GeoDatabase application. The project produced communication tools such as newsletters, posters, leaflets, comics, and videos. We also had the opportunity to raise attention to the children in uh, Nakuru for two classes, 10, 12 years old, through an awareness day, and to show to them the problem raised by the fluoride contamination and also the solutions proposed by the project. When we use the application to validate data on the fluoride information that had been on using the map, so the, using the application was very easy. We learned it in, within a couple of minutes because it's very user friendly. The application can be used online and offline, so it's better where there's low network connection. So it was a perfect application for this project, and I hope that in future it can be used to with other collaborations. In all these activities, uh, we, um, uh, there was an, a strong involvement of uh, the local stakeholders. Uh, for sure, uh, one of the strengths of the, of the project is positively given uh, by the great work done uh, by the uh, researcher of the uh, Flower Consortium. And uh, uh, my feeling uh, is that the cohesion and the enthusiasm of the people involved uh, in this very ambitious uh, project is giving and will be, uh, will be a uh, fruit for a longer time.